Welcome to Talking Trash. And today we're at a, a secret location. No, well, we'll explain. We're in rural Becker County. And I have a few guests here, and we're going to talk about what's happening here. So can you introduce yourself and, and who you represent? Of course. Uh, so I'm Alex Baldwin. I'm our Waste Diversion Manager for Better Futures Minnesota. And who are you? Donnell Scott, a Decon Supervisor for Better Futures Minnesota. So can you give us just a little snapshot of what Better Future is and what you're doing here, please? Of course. So we're a nonprofit. We're based in Minneapolis. We've been around since 2007. Um, we work with men coming out of incarceration in a variety of different types of work. But our big one is deconstruction, where our intent is to salvage building materials um, from buildings that might otherwise end up in the landfill. And so this has been happening in the cities for quite a while, right? You just said, H how is this unique in, in Becker County? Very unique. So we stay busy in the metro area of Minnesota um, with not too many projects that are in, you know, the more rural areas. Um, and this one in Becker County is very exciting because it's our first deconstruction project here. Um, and, you know, as you can... I don't know if you can see around us, uh, a variety of building materials are being salvaged. And so we'll take a tour so you'll be able to see the, the uh, things that we get out of a house. But this is unique because it is the first house in our area to be basically documented. And then where does this, the items that you get out of, out of here, and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll post some pictures. We'll have Adam do that. But what kind of things you get out of here and what, um, where does it go? And then we're going to talk about what this deconstruction is. Sure. So for the past four years, we've had a great partnership with Becker County, where we're providing staff members at the local transfer station um, to divert materials uh, that are reusable. You know, items we can rehome, items we want to keep out of the landfill, items that have not, you know, uh, reach the end of their life cycle. And um, so we have two members there, and all these materials that we're salvaging on site here will eventually go to the transfer station and, you know, f find a new life. Yes. To our, actually, to our reuse store. So Wednesdays, 8 to 4.30, Thursdays, 8 to 4.30, come on out and look every day, sometimes every hour the, the items are changing. But for sure, from this job, lots and lots of awesome items that are being diverted out of the waste stream. That's our goal, is to divert it out of the waste stream. We don't, normally, these kind of items would just go into the demo landfill. And we don't want that to happen. And so um, these owners were able to, to plan ahead and, and able to um, set it up so that they could deconstruct, um, deconstruct, deconstruct a lot of the items that came out of this house. So um, what kind of things have you uh, been getting, have you been pulling out this last week? Oh, uh, what, paving blocks? Uh... What else do we get? Oh, for decking, joists, studs. Uh, we got water heater, furnace, um, you know, taking garage doors, regular doors, bifold doors. And what else do we get? Oh, wood paneling from walls. Uh, a lot of our jobs, we get a lot of wood, so we reuse or recycle, you know, and resell. Um, I think what else did we get? We got a decent amount of cabinetry, yeah. kitchen cabinetry, appliances. Um, toilets? Yeah, toilets, vanities, bath fixtures. I mean, when you think about all the items that can be reused in a home, uh, it's an extensive list. So this house is a partial deconstruction. Can you explain to us what a partial deconstruction, and then we'll talk about what a full deconstruction is. For sure. So uh, as Sandy said, this is a partial deconstruction. Um, in most instances, a partial deconstruction, we're just salvaging interior finishes, maybe exterior finishes. I think the big difference between a partial and a full deconstruction is that a partial typically doesn't involve any structural work where you know we're not taking down walls, we're not taking the roof off. Um, we may be reclaiming some windows, some interior partitions, um, 
but it's a little bit less involved where it's um, you know the, the easier to grab finishes. Okay, and then, um, so that this is not a full deconstruction, but there are jobs that are. In, in, in the metro area, do you do a lot more full deconstructions, or is it? It's mixed, but I'd say more full, yeah, in the metro area, and that's roof on down, all the way down to the uh, frame, the uh, ground level framing. And then where do those products go in the Twin Cities? So just like here, we are, it goes to our warehouse, and we reuse, resell, you know, recycle um, for our warehouse. Uh, we try to stick to 85% of wood and materials, salvage materials on any of our jobs. We hit, hit that a lot. Um, the rest is probably trash, but stuff that's ended its lifeline of uh, being salvaged or reused, that's all. Okay, and so uh, there's, there's a, a great perk about a thinking ahead for deconstruction. There's a tax incentive. Could you explain just a little bit about that? For sure. So um, all these materials that we're pulling out, you know, they have value. Um, you know, the majority of these items are going to be resold typically for a lot less than uh, what they were purchased for new because they are used. But, you know, we are a nonprofit, so all the materials that we're taking out are, you know, technically a non-cash charitable donation. Uh, so the homeowner uh, is eligible to receive a tax deduction for all those materials. So not only is it helping out the environment, helping out the community pr by providing employment, uh, but there is a potential financial benefit for the homeowner as well. Okay, and the next show we're gonna talk more about deconstruction, so please join us. Thank you.